All right, George, so we just had the announcement of Yukon Striker. What do you think of it? That's gonna be an amazing ride. Amazing, awesome. What do you know about the ride? That's gonna be, that's gonna break all the records of dive coasters. That's awesome. What else? Do you have anything else to say about the ride? That's gonna pack in the crowds like Leviathan and Behemoth. Oh yeah. Awesome. Thanks for watching the channel, man. Thanks for be, uh, being a part of this. All right, Ryan. So they just announced this new awesome coaster at Canada's Wonderland. What do you think of it? I think this is absolutely going to be one of the best coasters here, possibly like all of Canada. It. I really wasn't expecting a vertical loop on a dive coaster. That's something I'm sure that many people thought was impossible. It looks like it's going to be one of the greatest dive coasters out there and I'm overall really excited for this ride. What do you think of the name? I think the name, at first, it seems sort of weird, but I think it's really grown on me now. It's, it, it's good. Awesome. And what about the color scheme? I think the color scheme is very nice. I think it works perfectly in this environment. And how about you? What do you think of this ride? Uh, it looks like a very fun ride. Uh, I'm very glad that Canada's Wonderland is finally getting this new coaster. Uh, we have not been known to having the greatest coaster lineup ever. So it's, 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 a, it's a solid line. It's an okay lineup, but we definitely need that coaster to bring it in to another to, to step it up a bit. And this definitely looks like a coaster that will definitely help the coaster lineup out. Uh, will it be the best coaster here? I'm not sure. I, I, I'm personally, I still think that Behemoth will hold its um, its prime here, but I think this looks like a really solid ride. Usually B&Ms are really solid rides, so I'm hoping this will be a pretty solid addition to our coaster lineup. Awesome. And how about you? Well, I've been excited for this ride since you started filming about it, but the ride looks amazing already. Everything about it looks amazing other than the long MCBR. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm very excited for this, as I think both of these two said. The vertical loop looks amazing, never expected that. I was hoping for a splash jam, but that's okay. It's just, I'm very excited for next year now. Awesome. Very. And then what's your name? Stage. Stage, and yours? My name's James. James, and what's your, do any of you have an Instagram or YouTube account you want to plug here? I do. Uh, my YouTube account is Rolling Coasters, my Instagram account is Rolling Coasters Canada. Awesome, and I know Ryan does. <laughs> Ryan Roller Coaster on YouTube, Ryan Roller Coaster on Instagram. Give it a follow, give it a like. Awesome. All, that. all right, Rage Bob. So, what do you think of this new awesome coaster coming to Wonderland? I believe this is going to be an excellent addition to our park. I was really surprised with the, the way it's close to the path going towards the action theater. Awesome. Anything else you want to say about it? What, what's, what are you most excited about? Uh, the in, in, inland uh, loop. Awesome. What about that vertical loop? Were you um, expecting that? No, I didn't even expect it to go all the way you know, to Action Theater. It was surprising. <laughs> awesome. And Code Blast. What can I say? I mean, it looks like a great addition for the park. Most enthusiasts would say it's gimmicky. I personally think it's a great ride. I love dive coasters after being on Valraven. Uh, and I also like vertical loops, just having you forward to your seat throughout the entire element. So let's see how that goes on a dive coaster. All right. Matthew. Uh, this is, they always say uh, dive coasters are one-trick ponies, but I don't think this one's going to be a one-trick pony. I think that this one's going to be an amazing park addition. Uh, personally, I love the vertical loop that they're going to be adding in. Uh, great addition. I also love the Immelman factor and, of course, the classic dive from the dive coaster, especially the height. The height's going to be pretty cool, and the tunnel, of course, is going to be awesome as well. And where do you think this coaster will rank on your list? Oh, uh, I haven't been to too many parks, so I'd probably say in probably the top ten. All right. What about at the park? At the park, probably my top. Awesome. What about you, Kobas? I'd have to wait and see if it tops Leviathan or not. <laughs> <laughs> and Rage Rob? Uh, one. Uh, I think it'll be number one. Awesome. Thanks, guys. All right, Dan from the Coaster Network. So this is your first visit to Canada's Wonderland, and you also got to experience the announcement for the new Yukon Striker. What exactly. are your thoughts? So, obviously, like, I, I personally want an RMC more than anything else. It's my type of ride, but... I mean, from a business perspective, like having the dive coaster here makes a lot of sense. And the layout is actually surprisingly really good. I feel like this would be like a top tier coaster if they just didn't have the best constraints. Because I've heard really good things about Griffin and uh, Shikra. So I, have, I think it's a great announcement. They did a great job advertising the thing, great job with the teasing campaign. 
and obviously you did a great job like covering it too with the whole rumors and stuff to Giga Dive, but like it is what it is. But either way, the layout is really impressive. But I do think we have yet to ride it. Who knows? It could actually be the best fish might even not even be a problem. So you never know. Yeah. What do you think about the vertical loop? Well, the vertical loop is a great choice for an element. If you played the original Roller Coaster Tycoon games, the vertical drop coasters, which are really just dive coasters, have actually the vertical loop element, and that's the only inversion you can do on them. So maybe that's an homage to that, but either way, that'll be very cool. I think it's very fitting for a dive coaster. It's obviously going to have to be wide to clear out the eight across trains, but I think it's a great choice for an element, if you ask me. Awesome. And what do you think about like the fact that this just kind of stole everything from Valerie? I, actually, I kind of like it because I know some people like Val Raven, especially in the comments in my video on Cedar Point. But like, for me personally, Val Raven just didn't do it for me. It felt really gimmicky, and all that good momentum you have in the first half just comes to a halt. But for this dive coaster, you have a much, much, much stronger first half. In a way, it's reminiscent of Gatekeeper in the fact that basically the mid-course comes really late in the ride, and you have a lot of good stuff before the mid-course. You have four inversions before the mid-course, which I think is a big success, and I think this will be quite a bit better than Val Raven. Awesome, what do you think about the name? I actually don't mind it. Here's the thing, Yukon Strike, strike yeah, Yukon Striker sounds pretty cool, actually saying it off the tongue. But like a ride like Steel Curtain at Kennywood, that just seems weird to me. I know both are kind of themed to their respective areas and stuff, but like, Yukon Striker actually has like a powerful name to it, you know? It actually has some meaning to it, but also it sounds good on its own, so I like it. Although I do hope Ziz comes around in the future. Awesome, thanks so much. Absolutely. Love your YouTube one more time. The Coaster Network. Awesome. SLC! 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 SLC!